something very, very, very exciting happened, and I want to talk about it. Do you want to talk about it too? Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and if you've been here a while, you'll know that I really like to talk about my favorite cleaner, and that is Simple Green. Now, when I'm working on a typewriter, on the insides of the typewriter, I always use mineral spirits and an air compressor. It's just a really great way to clean out dirt and dust and grime, and mineral spirits eats all of that stuff away, but you can't really use it on the exterior of a machine because it is paint thinner, so it'll ruin the finish of your typewriter. I was looking for an affordable and safe way to clean the exteriors of my typewriters when I ran into a post on the Facebook group for the Antique Typewriter Collectors that talked about a product called Simple Green, and they suggested that you use this to clean out the white stuff that leaches out of those plastic and Bakelite keys over time. So I had to buy it, and I went out and bought a bottle of Simple Green, proceeded to try it on the typewriter keys of my Royal Quiet Deluxe, and then suddenly realized I could clean the rest of the typewriter, and that typewriter went from being this ugly, dirty brown color to suddenly becoming a pristine, original gray colored typewriter just by using a little bit of elbow grease and Simple Green. And since then, it's become one of my favorite cleaning products for the exteriors of machines. It's safe, it's biodegradable, and it's earth-friendly around things like children and pet gremlins. Which I am very cautious of because you're very old and delicate and lovely. So after almost two years of using this product and really loving this product and posting about it on my Instagram and talking about it in every tips and tricks video I've ever had, I actually decided to reach out to the company because, well, they just weren't getting my hints from my videos and I really, really, really loved them. So I actually sent them a message and sent them some pictures of some of the typewriters I cleaned up using Simple Green to see if they wanted to use it as media promotions because to me, it's a great product and it can be used on some other things than what they were advertising on their Instagram. So I sent them some pictures, gave them a little bit of a testimonial telling them about how much I really loved the product and then they messaged me back and told me they were so appreciative of the things that I had said about the product and they would like to send me a gift. Now I'm not advocating for you to harass the ones you love until they love you back. Don't do that. But if you're me and that someone that you love is a cleaning company, it seemed to work out for me. So here's a little bit of footage of when they sent me a package of products that I had not tested before. I was so excited, I almost cried. So here's what that looked like. Something very, very, very exciting just arrived at my front door. I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am. Oh my God, this is so cool. Oh, there's a whole bag of goodies. Oh boy, I'm about to fangirl all over the place. <laughs> I can carry all my simple green goods in my simple green bag. And I think, oh man, I got simple green merch. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so cool. And now I can wear my simple green shirt. Oh my God. Oh, this is, oh wow. This is so cool. Diamond, get excited. We have Simple Green merch. So what they ended up sending me, in addition to Simple Green merch, which I am so stoked about, they sent me a few products in the line that I had not tried before, including their lemon concentrate version of their all-purpose cleaner, some wipes, some additional Simple Green concentrate, a dilution bottle, a carrying bag for everything that you could probably fit in, and I was just really excited to sit down and test these products. Now, no cleaning video would be complete without a montage, so cue the classical music.
some of my thoughts after using the products. Now I started with my Classic 12 machine from the 1960s, 1964. This is Webster. And when I had actually pulled out this machine to use it in a type test for my testing Corona 12s, I realized that the machine was kind of grimy on the outside. Now I cleaned it before, but this was pre-Simple Green. So I had never done a deep clean on the body of this machine. So I sat down with the Simple Green wipes to do a little bit of cleanup on the exterior case. And then I also took that to the key just to clean them up a little bit and it went from looking like this in a couple areas to this. So after using the Simple Green wipes on my Classic 12, I decided to sit down with a new typewriter in my collection that just needed a cleanup. Now this is a Wizard True Type machine, which is a brother branded machine, and I named it Gandalf, because what else do you call a gray typewriter that says Wizard across the front? This machine had no issues with it. It did just need one little adjustment underneath the typewriter, but the rest of the issues on this machine were cosmetic based. There were a few blemishes in the finish of the actual typewriter itself, and the case was kind Kind of gross looking so I sat down to try the lemon concentrate on this specific typewriter now I used the wipes to clean up some of the exterior areas and the keys on this specifically had a lot of nicotine residue on them and that happens over time when people were smoking and then they go to sit down and type at their typewriter you get yellow areas on the keys that kind of show nicotine damage. So I sat down with the lemon concentrate, I diluted it because it's concentrate <laughs> with some water in a spray bottle, and then tried that on both the keys and particularly the case of this machine to clean off all the dust and the dirt. Where are you going? Now, I was really excited to see the difference in the case just by using this product. I did let it sit a little bit because they do suggest that in the directions on the bottle to let that product sit for a little while and then go in and scrub it off. And I use microfiber scrubbing cloths when I go through because they're not gonna scratch the surface of anything. So I let it sit and then I scrubbed it off and the typewriter went from looking like this to this. And the case I think shows the most difference in the clean status. So here's the case before I cleaned it with Simple Green. And here's what it looks like after. And finally, you'll see this typewriter in a little while, but I scored a $5 typewriter. I know, that doesn't happen very often. And the reason it was $5 was because it was the grossest machine I've ever encountered. It had so much dust and dirt on it. The case was supposedly white, but there was so much dirt and grime on the exterior of the case, it actually looked cream. So I sat down and did my typical internal maintenance on this machine, and then I went to clean it with some Simple Green products. Now I used a combination of all three Simple Green products on this, including my favorite and my old standby, the all-purpose cleaner, which is the green formula of Simple Green. So I tried using the wipes and the spray of the lemon and simple green on the actual typewriter body itself. You can see here I did some patch testing and we'll talk about that in a second. And then on the case, I actually used a combination of all three cleaners. I wanted to see what it would look like if I tested simple green against my diluted version of the lemon scent. So here's what that looks like. You can see here after setting for a minute, the simple green all-purpose cleaner itself does seem to penetrate the dust and dirt a little better, but that could be because I over diluted the lemon. And then I also, again, used a wipe to finish off the outside of that case. And the typewriter in case went from looking like this to this. I really like how effective Simple Green is. This is not sponsored, by the way, not an ad. I'm just a major fan, and I was really excited to be able to try out some new products from their line. I didn't know that they had other things besides the green Simple Green, and I was really excited to try out some other products. I do have some tips and tricks for you when you are using these products on your typewriters. You should always, always, always patch test any cleaner you're using on your machines. Now, a patch test is when you take a little section of your typewriter in an inconspicuous, not visible section, and you test that cleaner on it to make sure it's not gonna wear away the finish of your typewriter or leave stains on your typewriter. So what I usually do is I'll spray the cleaner on a little Q-tip and then go and patch test somewhere on the machine that you can't see it or on the case. 
somewhere where you can't see it. And then I'll let it sit for a second before checking it again, just to make sure I haven't done anything to damage the surface of my machine. So always patch test because even though these cleaners work for me and on my machines, that doesn't mean they're gonna work on every machine in the universe. So obviously double check and patch test. I was really cautious to patch test as well with these products because I know the all purpose cleaner has never done me wrong. And some of the ingredients are actually the same between the all purpose cleaner and the wipes, but there are just a few differences and it doesn't list the different percentages of chemicals in those products. So I did wanna patch test those before I went and covered my entire machine in that product. So I did patch test them all and I had no issues using any of them and they all cleaned up really well. Now, I also wanna caution you when you see any product that says concentrated across the top and simple green does sell concentrated versions of their formulas my lemon that i got was a concentrate as is this very large bottle of simple green in the back which means that they are hyper condensed formulas and you need to dilute them a little bit with water you don't want to come on too strong with your typewriter it's better to go in thin coats of diluted cleaner to clean off the products than it is to go in with the heavy stuff and possibly ruin the finish of your machine so anytime you see anything that says concentrate across the top definitely dilute with water using the instructions on the bottle i didn't use the exact measurements they told me to use but I got pretty close and I did dilute that lemon before using it. Now, when I posted, I got this box of products on my Instagram. Somebody actually messaged me and told me they didn't like the smell of Simple Green, even though they found the product to be really effective. And I thought that was an interesting point. I've never had a problem with the smell of the cleaner, but I know some people are more sensitive than others. And so I was excited to try the lemon scent of this product because I know that that's gonna smell a little bit more like a traditional clean that we're used to in cleaning products. Citrus is in everything. So I was excited to try the lemon scent of this product. And I do think that I would use the lemon scent product specifically on cases that smell. Now, when you have a case that smells, I always suggest you set it outside to air it out. But then you can also go in with a clean and safe cleaner, something like this lemon scent simple green, and that'll also add a little bit of fragrance to your clean and just give it a little bit more of a citrusy scent. It is kind of strong, especially when it's in the concentrated format, but it does smell a little bit more like a normal cleaning product than simple green in the all-purpose formula. The wipes themselves, if you've ever used something like a Clorox wipe or a Lysol wipe, those are usually pretty soft and usually pretty wet. These wipes do feel a little bit different and that's because they are textured wipes. So they have some perforations in them. And what that does is it allows you to kind of scrub a little bit more with the wipes. So they're a little bit stiffer, they're textured, and they seem to have less product in them than like a Clorox wipe because they're not as wet because they're more stiff of a product. Now, I kind of like that because it allowed me to go in and really scrub with the product, which is what I like to do, especially on cases, not so much the finishes of typewriters, but I did find that to be pretty effective. They are a little frail though, if you're scrubbing really hard and with long nails like me, I did poke a couple holes in the wipes themselves, but I did find that they lasted a really long time. I could use one wipe and get an entire case, which is something that I find to be really valuable when using a cleaning product. So patch test your products, be aware of the differences in them. I tend to use Q-tips to also scrub a little bit more with my products. So I use a microfiber cloth on larger surfaces. And then for areas where I can't really get my fingers in there in a cloth to clean out, I will spray Simple Green directly on cotton swabs and I will go in and like scrub like you would with a toothbrush on a tile floor in between things. I sometimes use those on keys. Simple Green is actually the product that I use to clean off keys that have any of that white moldy stuff on them that leaches out of the keys over time. If you spray it on there, you let it sit a little bit and then you go in and scrub each individual key, either using a cloth or a Q-tip. You can remove that, which I think is amazing. And in those cases, I do usually use a Q-tip of some kind just to go in and scrub a little bit. And I usually spray the clean directly on the q-tip now there are different schools of thought should I spray the cleaner directly on the machine or should I spray it on a cloth I suggest for when you're cleaning the keys specifically that you go ahead and spray it directly on the keys after you've done your patch test because then it can kind of eat away at the stuff on the keys and clean that up for you you can let it sit for a little bit but if you're cleaning the surface or exterior of a machine I suggest you actually spray it on the cloth not the typewriter because then you can go in and kind of use it to scrub off the dirt and it's not going to eat away at any of the surface paint of your machine especially if you have areas where you might have chips or blemishes in the machine's finish 
So that's been a little bit of my experience with one of my favorite cleaning products. It's very odd to me that I have a lot of typewriters and all I did was message a company I really liked that happened to be a cleaning company and they sent me free products, but I'm really excited to be able to test out some of the other products in their line. I feel that this cleaner is very safe. I feel comfortable using it. I've never had any troubles with it. I find it to be really effective and I don't have any problem stating that that should be in your typewriter cleaning kit because I find it to be incredibly effective. Again, not sponsored. They didn't give me any money to say this, didn't ask me to make a video they just sent me some free products to try and I just really 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 like it so if you're interested in more information about simple green or simple green cleaners I've included their website down below as well as my first video on using simple green cleaner it shows you how to use it on a typewriter to clean typewriter keys and if you're interested in seeing more before and after shots I have some in there as well I also have more videos on this YouTube channel that are not specifically cleaning related if you want to check those out. And I have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter. I want to thank you all so much for watching. We actually put the dog to sleep with this one. <laughs> and I want to remind you that you're just my type. Writer. You got hair all over my brand new t-shirt. Are you happy with yourself?